Okay, here we go. Our newest HHO gas generator and torch. We're going to look at it. We got our secondary bubbler right here. This is our main gas tank over here. And if we come around back, we've got our HHO dry cell down here. It's a 41 plate cell running on 120 volts DC. And around on this side, over here, we have a tank to stabilize the gas flow and make the convection in the cell work better. Up here we have our cooling fan and we have our full wave bridge rectifier for our generator cell. Now, right now, the cell is cold. We're going to turn on our fan. We're going to power the unit up. Close our purge valve. Turn the gas flow up to max. Okay. Now, we're going to light our torch. Here's our torch. It's lit. Only took a few seconds for it to get going. We're going to heat up a piece of metal here. This is just a piece of 25,000 thick stainless steel. If we wanted to braze it together or braze something, we could just heat it up. When it, once it turns red, we could heat up a couple pieces of metal and braze them together. Or I could leave it on there long enough and it would just melt. And this is basically our newest HHO torch. We can use this gas control valve to control our flame. We like to keep it down around 7.5 amps. But we can crank it up as high as 10. And the warmer the cell gets, the more gas it produces. Right now it's running cold and it's putting out about 2.1 liters per minute. And this is our HHO torch. We shut it off. We... Turn off our power. We can leave the cooling fan on for a while if you want to. You don't really have to. And that's our HHO torch.